welcome back to the channel guys and back to the next video we got some big updates as you can see behind me guys and by the hat on my head we have partnered up with carparts.com to get us some of the parts that we need to finish the M3 they teamed up they they reached out and said hey can you use some stock OEM style parts for your M3 to get it finished and get it past the goal line and I said yes we definitely could there's a few things that I've been meaning to get but haven't been and been trying to find well carparts.com came through with euro parts and mail filters and Brembo some of the stuff we got we got a brand new headlight switch if you guys seen in many of my videos where the headlight switch here I'll show you guys look make this easy ah oh, this door doesn't open I gotta go to the other side I'll show you guys this on this side here see how this doesn't stick doesn't stay it doesn't click it kind of like flips around all all over and it won't stay straight up well that's what goes behind here and so we got a new one so we get to replace that with something new that actually works so that we can turn our lights on and off and they won't like hit a bump and turn off and then as you guys also know we start this with like a generic key from O'Reilly's because I've been trying to find this and I've been searching trying to take some off of junkyard cars but they're always either broken or already broke from from everything so we have a new one and this is just gonna plug right in and then we can run this up to the um, ignition and we can actually start the car the correct way um, and we don't have to have all those ex extra wires and everything so we can actually start the car the correct way so we have that we also have this piece here so as you can see this piece goes right here brand new rubber for the exterior of the E36 it's in LA from BMW now they carry it granted it's a euro part it's 3M tape everything just like OEM but it's gonna replace those. We aren't gonna put those on till we actually paint the car. So when we paint the car, all the glass, all the trim, everything's coming off this car. So we will save this for when we do that. We have the other one, the other one's in the mail. Um, they haven't sent me the other side yet, but that'll get there. They have literally almost all the trim pieces on the outside for the E36 um, in stock. They have like the windshield rubber, the rear windshield rubber, they do have this piece, but it is out of stock right now. But as soon as that's back in stock, I'm grabbing one for either side. And they're only like a hundred bucks. You find these, it's like 300 right now. Um, so they hooked me up with a bunch of cool stuff here. We got hat, we got gloves, we got tape, we got stickers, we got koozies that we're about to use, more stickers for the toolbox. Um, I don't know what's in there. Something's wrapped up in that thing. I don't know what's in there. What's in there? Let's find out what's in this. Hang on. Uh, something's taped up in here. Can we see? Let's see. Oh. They really don't want us to get in this. What is this? Okay, man, they're making this hard. Okay, hang on, I'll unwrap this, I'll be right back. So let's see what they wrapped up in this thing. And it is some hot sauce, guys. <laughs> Carparts.com food lubricant. <laughs> they sent us some hot sauce. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> so we have some hot sauce, microfibers, a whole bunch of stickers, a whole bunch of stuff for toolbox, a whole bunch. So. I am grateful for them guys. They have sent us some cool stuff that's actually going to help us get this car 
done. It's all the little minor things that, you know, that I need to get done and, and make workable. But these parts are going to help. And I have a bunch more on order from them as well. Uh, they just haven't come in yet. But they carry so much for the E36 that I had no clue that they actually carried. Like, basic stuff that... Um, that I can't find anymore or Amazon has too cheap of like the quality is too cheap these are all euro parts and mail filters and they carry all the brakes for the Brembo that's where we got all the the rotors before um you know back when you saw us put those on a year ago that's where we got all the parts and everything so let's get to it I'm gonna let's tackle the headlight switch see if we can swap that out real quick so to get this in, we have to pull this out. Um, it's got a screw underneath, and then this whole thing kind of slides out. So let's get this unscrewed and get this slid out. You can see it slides right out. Take our one clip off. We take our other clip off, and boom. We have, ah, look at that looks just right so let's pull this one off and get this new one on zombie i did not know how hard it was to get this headlight switch out now i gotta go get a socket to get that off because that screws onto the new one let's go get a socket figure this out so it's a 7 8 gigantic. So we got that off. Set all of our stuff we're reusing over there. Then this should just pops right out. Look at that. Boom. You can see how loosey-goosey that one is. And this one, I can't even turn it by hand. So this slides right back on. Mm. Oh, shoot, the bulb stayed in this one, and the new bulb's in this one, so we gotta get this bulb out, I think the bulb is melted in there, oh, it's done some stuff, oh, well, let me see the other one. Oh yeah, the bulb just kinda, ooh. And that bulb did melt in there at one point. <laughs> See if we can wiggle this thing out without breaking my fingers. Might have to get some pliers. Let's see. As always, nothing with me is easy. I don't want to break it in there because then I really won't be able to get it out. But that is definitely melted in there. I don't know why that melted, because the bulb shouldn't get that hot. Okay. Oh, oh there's no other way to... Might have to get some pliers. Be right back. So, guys, that light bulb, like I thought, broke inside that. Um, we have, and I forgot, I had gone to a junkyard a couple years ago and got another housing just like this one because of my switch was out but when I got home this switch was just as bad and it was just as floppy see how that before it clicks it's floppy um, which didn't do me any good um, so we have this housing let's get this off again and see if this light bulb is melted in there as well and if this housing can be reused let's see got our knob off i think our knob is better our knob is definitely better um this one's a crappier came from a salvage car but if the housing in the light bulb is good then we can transfer over it is good all this stuff is good on the back side so let's throw that over there this one's just a lot 
dirtier than ours. Um, ours is clean, this is dirty, so we'll have to clean this up. And then this button is, is all busted, um, on this end, so we'll take, we'll take this button off, and, uh, this button, so I take it back, um, this, what we're going to do is we're going to transfer all of the clear stuff. This housing, yeah, I would try to clean it up, but it's not going to clean up like I um, want it to. So the old housing, I like our housing better. It's cleaner. So what we're going to do is replace just our plastic that's melted in the back. So you can see this, this piece is melted. We replaced it with the good one from that side. So we will take this one off, replace it with this, and then we can put our new switch back in and we'll be golden so let's do it so there they are this is the melted one with the light bulb still in it and this is the good one that does not have the light bulb in it um we're gonna clean that up and we will get that put right back on and get it going perfect so we have the whole back rebuilt as you can see now we are able to put in our new switch from Euro Parts. And look at that, fits right in. Take our nut here. Start our nut. And this can only go on one way because the, the light is right there. Where's our oh, socket's in my lap? And we're gonna screw this socket down well if it would there you go get started there is that right yeah there we go doesn't need to be tight well it does but it doesn't need to be like break the part tight it's on there it's in there we can put our knob on. Which knob looks better? I think our knob looks better. Yeah. It's got a little slit here for where it needs to go. Push it on tight. All the way down. And then look. Look at that. That is tight. Listen to that. That's that's like factory. That's OEM sound right there. For headlights. Boom. Now we don't have a problem. Now we know when we turn each one, we're going to have headlights in that you don't have to jiggle it or wiggle it or hope that you hit a bump and the light turns off or on or anything like that. So let's put this back in, slide it back in, and we are all done with this one, guys. And that's that. It's done. Now we can move on to our under here switch stuff. See what we have. No, it goes right there. It goes right there on the back of this. But we need to find all the wiring for it because we've cut so much up for so much other stuff. So let's get under here, find out where we hook up our ignition switch. So I'm going to be honest, I think I cut, I think I cut this connector, where this connector goes into, I think I cut it off in all of this. I think it went right here. I see the big green, the purple, all this stuff. I think I cut it off. I had to put it somewhere. I think it, it, it may be up in my stuff, but I think I cut it off because this stopped working and I wired in this thing to start the car so I definitely have some work to do we're gonna have to find that and we're gonna have to reconnect it so that we can reconnect this up here and then we can get the key to work and we can start it so Probably won't be tonight. 
because I gotta find that and rewire all that stuff, but we're almost there. We can leave that till later. I also figured out that this piece here, this plastic on the E36 is all gone, so I'll see if carparts.com has that piece, and we'll get that ordered so we can get a new one in there so that all our little um, blanks and stuff work. Um, yeah, but we got one thing down. Now we just need to do wiring. So why do we let that sit and simmer? Let's get back to the engine bay. And we are going to figure out what we have left to do in here. So last time you saw us start it and move it, I need to get my gotta get my pole. My hood prop. I need to figure out something cool to do for this hood prop because you can't run um, hood shocks use my head for right now and then I'll use the camera so I need to figure out some sort of cool hood prop since we can't use shocks I know it's got like the location for stuff but it's known that if you run shocks on these hoods, it cracks it clean across the middle um, every single time. So, um, yeah, we don't want to do that. Um, the one thing we do have to do, which I didn't do last time and I forgot, is this hose has a kink in it and I don't like it. And the way it runs to the vacuum port for the ICV. I don't like that so I want to shorten that so I have a little bit better angle or put a 90 in there so that we have better angle but we also need to tee in and we forgot this this is our fuel pressure um, we need to just shove that cut a hole and shove that in there somewhere um, I also want once see once all this stuff gets in here and this fuel line gets here this is super tight with the throttle, like it hit that entire thing. So I need to pull that all the way over to that. I need to adjust this so we have this tight, but for some reason it hits right there on that. And I need to adjust this cause I don't think that's in the right spot. Look at that angle backwards. I need to look at some pictures from uh, 1011 Racing to see what what that's gonna happen. Like what's happening here. I think I think this needs to be adjusted. I think this needs to be mm, something. Maybe it needs to move back to that. I think it does. I think it, this needs to go back to this one so that it clears that. Still a weird angle, but Let's see what we can figure so, out. We have our vacuum hose temporarily put into our vacuum port. We have our throttle cable tight. We have our fuel line kind of zip tied up over, out of the way for right now, just so we can see if that works with our throttle body. We have this disconnected so that we can get to this. This angle is weird to me. I still think it's strange, um, but I'm gonna take this, cause I feel like it wants to be on the other side, but I feel like this also wants to be further down, but then that makes the throttles open and that's not what we want either. So I think if we take out this spacer, it's gonna clear that little bit. If not, I'll get the file out and we'll just file that down. We don't need, um, that little bit of metal there so let's see what we can do that washer to the other side and look at that does not contact at all so we should have a nice smooth throttle on all six of them so we can clip that back on and we should be good i'm gonna shove this screwdriver back in our hole for now we tightened up our 
oil line so we won't have an oil leak anymore. I do need to figure out where the oil pressure clip is. I don't know what happened to it. I don't. I just don't know where it went. It's one of those things. And I think this is a throttle one, but I could be wrong. And I was told that I think we have to repin one of these in here. I can't. So guys, that is it for this video. We just have our um, ignition switch to wire up, but I'm gonna have to find the clip that I cut off before so we can put it on and snap it in. But other than that, we got a bunch done. Carparts.com helped out knocking a bunch of that stuff out. We are still ordering a lot more from them. Um, to finish up, a bunch of just the little OEM things that I can't find anymore or are too cheap on eBay and, and Amazon. So, um, you know, if you want a quality part, carparts.com. Shipping's quick and, and fast. Ton of parts on there. I, stuff that I didn't even know. You can get hoods, doors, fenders, bumpers. They have the M3 bumpers. They have the M moldings down the side. They have them for the front bumper. They have them for the rear bumper. Uh, they got trim pieces, they got mirrors, they got and damn near, they have the cross member in the front. I almost wanted to get another one just to get another one. Um, but they have a ton of stuff, guys. Go check them out. We're teaming up with them. So if you want to see some parts off of carparts.com and want to see if it fits, let me know. We'll order it. We'll try it out. We'll fit it. And I'll let you guys know. So thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. Keep watching videos. We got more and more coming. This thing's almost ready to rip. We are last thing I really need ECU from Link. Trying to find one. Um, I ordered one over Christmas, but it got kicked back. Um, so need to get ourselves a Link ECU so we can get this thing running the way it should so we can drive it.